Hi folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this uh, division lesson is uh, we're going to divide three digits by one digit using the regrouping method, okay? So the regrouping method is, uh, uh, I'll show you here. So Trevor, he wants to give uh, 54 dimes to three of his friends equally. Trevor's a nice guy to give away his money like that. But if he has 54 dimes and he's going to divide them up uh, three times equally to his three friends, how many dimes will he give to each of his friends? So this is how we do this, you guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, draw three circles that represents the three friends right here. And then down here it says, uh, then use base 10 blocks to model 54. And show 54 is 5 tens and 4 ones. So let me show you that right here. So here's base 10 blocks right here. It's a 10 by 10 right here. So, so if I pull that off, there's 10 right there. Okay, there's 20 right there. Let me keep going. 30... 40. Okay, I'm going to grab 54. So one more 10, you guys. And then i got to grab some singles off right here. So there's 50. Okay, let me grab that guy off. So there's 51, 52, and then uh, two more. 53, 54. Okay? All right, so here's 54 right here. And I'm going to go ahead and insert my three circles again right here. So we're going to use those 54 blocks right there. Okay, and those uh, three circles right there. And then uh, the next step is, is we're going to share as many groups of tens equally into the three groups. So I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to put a group of ten up here. I'll put a group of ten uh, in this one right here and a group of ten in this one. Now I can't share any more groups of tens because there's only two left and I have three circles. So I, I can't divide them up equally into the three circles. So what we're going to do is uh, if there's any tens left, we're going to regroup them as ones and then share them equally among the groups right here. So what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to pull these off and, and make them all one. So so here's this one, here's this one, and so so I'm going to lay all of these down right here. The rest of these eight, they're going to go right here, and then I'll put these ten right here. And I did this on this one right here, okay? So there they are right there. So then we're going to share these equally among the three groups, okay? So um, looks like there's ten here, there's twenty here, so there's twenty-four ones I'm going to share amongst the three groups right there. So what you could do is you can... You can start grabbing them, you guys, and just start putting them up in there. So there's two, and then, uh, you know, and then make sure you're doing them evenly so this guy gets two and so on. So actually, they're all going to get eight because there was 24 of them, you guys, and, and that means eight of them are going to go into each one. So if I kept going, you guys, so if I did uh, two more here and, and two more here and two more here, it's going to get me eight in each one right there, okay? So if they're going to ask you in your book, it's now going to say, how many tens does each circle have? Each circle has this one ten right here. Okay, so each circle has one ten, and they and each circle has then eight ones in there. So has one ten and eight ones. This one has this one ten and these eight ones. This one ten and these eight ones right there. Okay, so Trevor's going to give uh, the ten plus eight is going to give eighteen dimes to each of his friends. Okay, which is a dollar eighty, right? Because eighteen times ten is a hundred and eighty uh, cents. All right, so so the question is, how many dimes he's going to give? Eighteen dimes. Okay. All right, and the reason why we need to regroup those uh, right here, it's going to ask you, why did you need to regroup those? Well, we needed to regroup these because there wasn't enough groups of tens to share equally amongst the three groups, so I had to break these down and regroup them as ten ones instead of two tens right here. Okay. So this was 10 ones and this was 10 ones, okay? So that's why we had to regroup them. Let's try this again. So how can you use base 10 blocks to find the quotient of 76 uh, divided by 4? All right, well, first I would get seven groups of 10. So these little dashes are my groups of 10s. And here's my six ones. Here's my 76 right here, okay? So seven groups of 10s and six ones. Then I would draw four circles and put a 10 in each circle. So I'm going to pull a 10 from here. Put it in here, 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 here. So it's going to use up four of these seven. So there's going to be three left right there. Okay, and then with the with the three left over, I'm going to regroup those as ones because I don't have enough tens anymore to put in these four circles right here. So I'm going to break this down as ten ones, ten ones, and ten ones. So there's going to be 
36 of those ones right there. There's all 36 ones. Now I can divide these 36 ones and put them into these four circles right here. So when I divide those 36 ones divided by four, each of the circle is going to get nine ones. Okay, so there they go. So then uh, each circle has one ten and nine ones or 19 in each. Okay, so 76 divided by 4 is going to end up being 19. Okay, all right, so use the picture below to help you divide 76 divided by 3. Okay, so here's the, I have three, you know, boxes right here or circles or whatever, and I'm going to do 76 divided by 3. So here's seven tens. And then uh, there's my six ones, there's my 76, and it's going to be divided by 3. And so uh, I, I would just start grabbing these guys and, and start putting them in. So I can put 110 there, 110 there, 110 there, and it looks like I can do it again. Whoops, I, did, I didn't grab it very well, okay? Looks like I can do another 10 in each one right there. So I can do this 10 here, this 10 here, so, and then... Um, uh, and then there's going to be one ten left over. Okay, I can't divide them up in there anymore. So, so when I do that, so uh, whoops, I, I um, uh, so uh, we're going to draw the three circles to represent that, and then we're going to go ahead and move those uh, uh, share the seven tens equally among the three groups. And I just showed you what we did right there. So we're going to cross the tens out as we use them. Well, I just moved them over, but if you're doing it on a pencil and paper, you just cross them out as you move them, okay? So I just cross that one out and put it over there, okay? So when I do that, you guys, it says there are um, uh, blank tens in each group. Do you remember how many tens in each group we put in there? We ended up putting two tens in each group, okay? And then so how many tens were used all together? Well, there's two here, two here, two here. So six tens are going to be used all together, and there was, a, there was that one left over, okay? So let's go back here, okay? So we put two tens in each group, which meant there were six tens used all together, and this one guy left over right there, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, so there's two tens in each group, and six tens were used, and there's one left over right there. So what are you going to do with this one left over? Do you remember? Yeah, you got it. We're going to break this down as 10 ones right there, okay? So uh, let's regroup those uh, that 110 by drawing 10 ones, okay? There it is right there. Okay, so how many ones do we have now? Well, there's 10 here plus 6. There's 16 ones there, and check it out. When I subtract 7 minus 6 is 1, and I slide this down, that's going to be 16 ones that we're going to share right there, okay? All right, so uh, so when we uh, there's my 16 right there. So uh, uh, let's see. So share the ones equally among the three groups and cross out the ones that you would use. So I'm going to share the the ones equally in the three groups. So uh, when I share all these guys right here, okay. Uh, let's see. I think we got a little time. Oops, I put three in there. I better put three in this guy also. One, two. I'm just going to grab one here. I'll grab this guy right here two, three, and I can put three in the next one here, one, two, three, and it looks like I can put uh, uh, five in each group. Can you see why there's five in each group, you guys? Because there are 16 ones in three circles, so I can put five of these little guys in each group, okay? So I can put one more in each group. And by golly, we're going to have a leftover guy out there all by himself. He's going to be all lonely, saying, help me, I'm all by myself. All right, so, <laughs> sorry, you guys. So uh, so how many ones are now in each group, you guys? Well, there's five ones there, five ones there, five ones there. So there's five ones in each group. How many ones were used? There was five, ten, fifteen ones were used, and there's this one guy left over right there, Okay. So um, uh, when I do that, um, uh, so uh, there's 15 ones in each group, and then there's this one guy left over right here, okay? So that's where this 15 came from. I put it right there. So um, uh, it's just kind of showing you long division, the old school way that I showed you in some other videos right there. All right, and then so, um, uh, so you can represent this that, that there are three groups of 25 because there's 10, 25, 10, 25, 10, 25. So there's three groups of 25, and then there's this one guy left over over here. So three groups of 25, and this one guy left over right there, okay? And then so, so 76 divided by 3, 
uh, the quotient is this number. This is my quotient. The quotient is 25, and the remainder is going to be this guy right here is 1. Okay? And then, uh, so depending on uh, uh, your teacher, uh, you're going to write this probably as 25 remainder 1, you guys. And then when you guys get a little bit uh, uh, more advanced, uh, you, you write it as a, as a mixed number, 25 and 1 third. So I don't know what your teacher's going to ask you to write. Probably like this, 25 remainder 1. Uh, or you can write it as 25 and 1 third right there. Okay? All right. And if you have some time and, and this video helped, just go ahead and click like on here. That, that would uh, help me out a lot too, you guys. I'd appreciate that. And take care, everybody.